Well, it's been almost six months since American Rescue Plan funds were released to cities across the U.S., but Lancaster City employees say they're still waiting for leaders to divvy up the cash. Our South Carolina Bureau Chief, Shakira Speaks, joins us now live. And Shakira, what are employees saying tonight? I spoke to four city employees today, Brian, and every one of them is telling me that they're frustrated, annoyed, not understanding what's taking the city so long in getting them the money that they're owed. Each of them have families that they provide for, and of course they'd like that boost in pay, but they feel like the city is dragging its feet. If we're supposed to have the money right here, then why don't we have it in our hands right now? Dedrick Thompson works for the city of Lancaster. He was expecting a premium pay bonus from the city through the American Rescue Plan Act, but he and other city employees haven't seen it yet, and now they're wondering why. The city was awarded more than $4.5 million from the act in January. After allocating money for the city needs, nearly $500,000 was left for city employees. One Lancaster police officer is frustrated because other surrounding city's employees have already received their pay. Most of them got their funds in January, and that's including Lancaster County. City council members discussed the funds during the April 12th council meeting, saying the finance committee should look at the numbers and determine which city employees would receive the bonus. City employee Mitch Noro gave the council the green light to approve the funds, saying the amount wouldn't change, but council members insisted on tabling the resolution. Mayor Austin Devaney says the ARPA pay is being developed in junction with the city's budget. The budget's approval deadline is July 1st. But even more importantly, um you know, dealing with this, the inflationary period and the raise in, in, um, in wages generally. So we're dealing with all of those things and making sure that we can, it can be sustainable. You feel like we, we put in the work and sometimes they tell you, you know, raises or more money, it's not in the budget. So, you know, you kind of take that, you keep, you know, keep doing your job. But it's kind of, it's like a slap in the face when you hear that there were funds allocated to give you, the, to supplement your income and help you out. And they don't want to give it to you. There's also a resolution for the lump sum of money to be paid in two equal installments and not part of the regular salary base. Not only am I going to get taxed at my first one, I'm going to get taxed at the second one. So it's like I'm almost losing money. Yeah, we just want to be treated fairly. Um, we just feel like we're getting to run around with everything. So the city has until December 31st, 2024 to at least allocate the funds, but they have another two years to spend the money that the government sent them. And we'll be sure to make sure that they spend all the money. We're reporting in Lancaster tonight. Shakira Speaks, Queen City News.